All right, it's time for Android 12 Beta 3 and this one has a lot of changes under the hood and quite a lot of new features and refinements that makes it quite an interesting update. So I'll be sharing all that in just a second. But first, make sure you tap on that subscribe button to see new awesome content like this one. Now let's go ahead and dive into all the changes that we get with this Android 12 Beta 3. Starting off right with the home screen, we have a redesigned wallpaper and style menu that is more in line with this 100 UI theme that we have with Android 12 and it looks quite clean and amazing. You can see how the wallpaper will look on lock screen and home screen as usual and you can tap on this expand icon to see how it looks. You can zoom in and crop your wallpaper and set it as per your taste which was there too. Apart from the redesign, you have two new tabs now wallpaper colors and basic colors and you can choose from four options that are automatically generated as a part of material you theming. So the wallpaper colors are as the name suggests taken from your wallpaper and the basic colors are there just in case you don't like the wallpaper ones. You also get this dark theme toggle right here and that's handy too. Apart from that we have a new themed icon option. So the icons on your home screen and other places will have the same color that you choose. So that's a good option just in case you feel like doing it. So the whole material you theme is in action now for most of the internal stuff. And you can see how the UI looks in light as well as the dark theme. And I can see this weird spacing with Google widget in the app drawer. A small bug, not a big deal. And I hope they'll fix it really soon. After that, in the task manager, we have this quick link sharing option for apps like YouTube and Chrome as of now. And this will share the last URL directly to anyone you want. And this is really handy as you won't have to switch between the applications to share a video or a link. And that's a small but a neat feature in my opinion. Next up, we have the long screenshots, finally, which most of the Android skins had for a long time. So take a normal screenshot and click on this capture more button and this will show you the entire area and you can precisely choose whatever you want in your screenshot and I like this implementation but it has a small flaw as of now. So this one doesn't work for websites and you cannot share a long screenshot from web pages as of now which I hope doesn't stay like this in the stable version but glad to see this feature here. After that, we have some minor changes in the Google camera application as well. And it has this new version that adapts to material U theme everywhere. So it will have the same color in menus and other places too. Next up, let's move to settings. And here, as you can see, the UI has changed yet again. So instead of those colorful icons, we have these mono or muted icons that look quite decent and more in line with the system theme. Though I don't like this grey background and Google should have given an option to change that as well. In the storage menu, we have this trash option that takes us directly to the files application. And here we have the files deleted in the last 30 days. So you can empty them or restore just in case you want to. We also get this new facial recognition feature in auto rotate that will now use your face to improve the accuracy of auto rotation. And this is also a nice feature as I have observed that the screen auto rotates quite quickly when the face is ejected and slowly when it isn't. So a neat trick as usual. Next up we have the improvement to 100 mode and now you can either pull down the notification shade or the entire screen in one go, which is a practical thing to do. So this gives you more power on how you can use this gesture. We even get this 100 mode shortcut option that can do it all for you with just a tap. So that's great. In the system navigation, you can now disable swipe to invoke Google Assistant, which was a bit irritating sometimes. But hey, that can now be controlled too. On the similar note, we can now turn off Wi-Fi from quick settings with just a tap, instead of going all the way into menu and then doing it. Also that mobile data tile is still inside this and I don't like that implementation. But what do you guys feel about it? Let me know in the comment section down below. Lastly, we have some smaller things like the update menu is now redesigned to look more in line with this new UI. And the at a glance feature in the launcher is now called live space. And last but not the least, the pixel tips application got a redesign too. And phew, these are all the changes 
that I could see in this short time with Android 12 Beta 3. And it all looks quite useful and refined overall. So let's see what the last beta will bring to the table for us. And that's it for now. So if you end up liking this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel and press that like button while you are at it. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.